first thing you want to do is go into the clip where you have the kill as you can see my clip is this so it's a pretty cool little transition and my kill is right there now right as the kill and the indicator pops up the little red marker on the bottom you're going to want to right click timer mapping and go to speed now what you want to do is going to hold control click on this line right here it's going to bring up this line you want to go drag down all the way to about 20 percent 20 to 25 to make it a little optimal you can go lower if you want to if you want to make it even more smoother trust it'll look very good if you do also by the way this clip is 60 fps it contributes to how smooth it looks the higher the fps the better and how smooth it will look so right here i'm going to drag this over to make the ramp you can make it as long as you want to make it as smooth as you want and then we're going to extend it along so how long you want it to do the same thing on the other side bring it back up to 100 percent and there we go drag this over again create the ramp make it nice and smooth drag it over and boom now we have this slow motion effect but it's very 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 choppy now in order to get rid of the choppiness and make it baby bottom smooth you're gonna have to right click go over to time interpolation and go to optical flow i usually cut this part out you can use the this tool, the razor tool to use that. Highlight using I and O on the keyboard, going over to sequence, rendering into out, and boom, look how smooth that is. It's extremely smooth, smoother than whatever app that you think you're gonna use. Now, another way you can do this with After Effects, all right? So if you wanna make this baby bottom smooth as well, or even if it does happen here and it's not as smooth, you can do this as well. Just replace with After Effects. Make sure you have After Effects installed, by the way. And with this, you're gonna wanna double click on this frame blending twice to where it says optical flow. Do the same thing, essentially, that you did in Premiere Pro. Run this out, make sure it loads all the way through. And it should be just as smooth as you can see. Now, all you're gonna do is make sure you save it here. Tab back into Premiere Pro. Run this out again one more time. And boom, look at that. Look how smooth that is. Now that is the start of a pretty nasty edit, if I do say so myself. If you want LUTs like these, 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 or these, along with flash presets, shake effects, and also slide transitions, along with the scope effects that you guys see right here, but even more, like for example, something like these, and even this, you can check them out in the link down in the description below my website that has a whole bunch of digital assets and presets for you guys and creatives who are making gaming edits and montages and uh yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time